we're back, and um, this is um, one last uh, um, Rocky Doc tutorial, and then two tutorials on something else totally irrelevant to this. All right, so now I'm going to talk, talk to you guys about Doclets. Doclets are icons that perform special purposes. Um, one Doclet that I have is called the iTunes and Master Volume Doclet. It lets you control the 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 volume um, of your whole computer and the volume of iTunes. Now, uh, you search it. Uh, let's go iTunes. I will put the link to this one in the description as well. Um. All. Darn. Alright, um. You go to page. Alright, let's see. Let's say you want to download a doc. Lit. Let's go to page two. A lot of these seem pretty pointless, if you ask me. Oh, just missed it. Darn. See, when I'm talking, I miss, like, everything. Alright, we'll go back here. Alright, so we come down here, scroll. We're gonna scroll, and you're gonna click on this. This link will also be in the description, along with everything else. <laughs> so, you click download file, as always, once it loads. And you save it. You do the whole shindig you got going on and save it wherever you want to. I already saved it. So I'm going to go to my computer and we'll open, a, open up the Rocket Doc folder. Rocket Doc, here we go. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go extract all. Next, next, and finish. Now you're going to have to install the docklet. iTunes doc, let's see, is it, there we go, so we don't need this anymore. And delete, there we go. So we have our iTunes doc here. Double click the installer, run. That is weird. Well, let's open the folder here. I'll try it now. Well, something must be wrong, but uh, to apply, and that's how you would delete. And yes. Anyway, so that's how you get Doclets. To install them, you just go here, Doc Settings. I believe it is somewhere in the Icons section. Behavior Styles, General. I don't know. You're going to have to, maybe you drag it on. Yeah, you pretty much, I think you have to drag it on. Once you, well, you open up your Doclet, and you just drag it on here, and it'll be right there for you. Right at your fingertips to touch. I'm not sure. Let's see. And if you want to get rid of something, you just take it, drag it off. Poof, it's gone. But it's not gone in your desktop. Like, I can't get rid of this. I don't know why. I'm going to empty it. Empty recycle bin. By the way, um, empty your rec emptying your recycle bin can save you tons of space on your computer. Alright, so now we're done with this. Uh, another part of the dock. This is Mozilla Firefox. Actually, I don't really know how to get this, so this is going to be a kind of tutorial uh, learning experience for both me and the viewer. <sighs> Yahoo.com. Alright, so we'll go here and we'll go Mozilla Firefox. Alright, so, um, here you go, and here's your Mozilla website. 
and you just click the free download. This will also be in the description. So as you, I'm probably gonna have a whole boatload of stuff in the description. Um, you just click download and you save it and stuff. So yeah. Also, and now for the final tutorial is watermarks. What is this up here? That's a watermark. I was asked that question three times in the past two days. So to get it, you need Camtasia Studios. I'll put the link for that in the description too. Let it open up. All right, so first we need in media. No, media. Let's import a picture. Let's do the in the now logo. Put that in there. 200 by 200, that'll be good. Um, 320 by 240 is the setting that you should do it to. 20 tab by 240. There. So you just make this as long as you want. All right, and now we'll go produce video as this one, this one, Windows Media Video. Uh, none of this. Just keep it as the thing. Click maintain aspect ratio and just type in 320 and 240 will come up immediately. Now include watermark. Check that right there and you click to find a watermark, click options. I'm going to change my watermark to the new thing. So you once you click the options right there, you go to you click this one, the folder, and you find your icon. I'm doing this. Set transparent color. You only do that if say it's coming if it's coming out of paint. You just fill the background in the color, and you set that as the transparent color, and it will, you know, do that stuff. And so this is where you can se select where you want it to be. Um, I'm going to start putting it in this corner from now on. And when you're done, you click OK. Next. Next. And just call it Test 1. Finish. And since this is a very small file, it should load pretty quick. Come on. Work with me. Come on. There we go. Click Finish. And it will come up in Windows Media Player, and you can just watch it. And since it's this, it's just going to be this for a little bit. That's very boring. Alright, um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on our next tutorial. Alright, thanks for watching.